The Ontario Community Transportation Grant was formed in 2015. It provides funding to municipalities to plan, implement, and operate transportation services. The program aims to support the delivery and development of transit, focusing on communities with low populations and densities. The grant provides up to a half a million dollars over five years for local transportation programs and $1.5 million for inter-community services. In 2019, the province awarded 39 communities with grants, ranging in size from $222,000 to $2 million, allowing for the creation of a variety of new transit services. Today, we'll be profiling seven of these services that have either already started operations or will begin operating in the coming week. I'm Zach with Vanishy Underground, and let's take a look. The first such grant was given to Elliott Lake, a town of just over 10,000 people located almost two hours west of Sudbury. With a grant awarded to them of $378,000, the town entered into an agreement with Ontario Northland and AJ Bus Lines to provide a shuttle service to Sprague, located along Highway 17, 20 kilometers south of the town. Sprague is serviced by Ontario Northland coach buses, which run six days a week between Sault Ste. Marie and North Bay. This shuttle service runs twice a day, six days a week, meeting the eastbound Ontario Northland bus at 1.25 p.m. and the westbound bus at 8 p.m. In Elliott Lake, the shuttle drops off downtown, providing connections to all four of the town's bus routes. Fares for the bus are sold in conjunction with Ontario Northland buses, which are timed to meet each departure and arrival at Sprague with a five-minute transfer window. This service has improved connections between Elliott Lake and other rural communities in Northern Ontario and was well planned to connect with the existing local transit services. Next up is Norfolk County, population 64,000, which is located roughly 120 kilometers southwest of Toronto. A grant of $765,000 allowed for the establishment of an inter-community bus service, connecting the main population centre of Simcoe to the larger regional centre of Brantford. Along the way, the bus stops in the communities of Waterford, Wilsonville, Oakland and Mount Pleasant before dropping off passengers at the downtown Brantford bus terminal. Here, passengers can access GO Transit buses to continue their journey into Hamilton, Niagara and Toronto or local Brantford buses for travel within town. The bus makes three round trips daily, running Monday to Friday, and trips are timed to connect with some local bus services in Simcoe. Fares are $10 each way for all riders, which are independent from the other buses in Norfolk County. Having been in operation for just over a year, it will be interesting to see how successful this service is, as it could serve as a model for other small towns to regional center bus links. Prescott and Russell counties are located along the eastern border of the city of Ottawa, with a population just shy of 90,000. The counties were awarded a $2 million grant, allowing them to establish a 12-route rural bus system. The service runs Monday to Saturday, with each route running on a different day of the week, and running two round trips on each day that they operate. Routes service major centres such as Castleman, Embrin, Hawkesbury, Rockland and Russell as well as connecting to 20 other smaller hamlets throughout the county. Fares are $5, which include either a transfer to another bus or a return trip. However, tickets must be pre-purchased in various locations throughout the county, as they are not sold on the bus. A mobile application to provide real-time information on bus arrival times was also developed as part of this project. While the transit system does not provide connections into the adjacent city of Ottawa, it does allow for connections to Via Rail and Castleman, as well as OC Transport regional partner routes that operate in the area. Fourth on our list is the municipality of Strathroy Caradoc, a town of roughly 21,000 located just west of London. The town received a grant for $1.45 million, allowing them to begin running an intercity bus service connecting Sarnia in the west and London in the east. On the way, 
The bus stops in Stratford, Mount Bridges, and Kamoka, providing new services for passengers between these destinations. The bus runs three round trips on weekdays and two on weekends. Reservations for the service are strongly recommended. However, walk-on passengers will be accommodated if there is space available. Fares range from $5 to $20, depending on the distance traveled. In London, buses drop off at the London International Airport, as well as in downtown near the Via Rail Station. While in Sarnia, buses drop off at the Bayside Terminal in downtown and at the Lambton Mall. A flex stop in Sarnia allows for service to the Sarnia Via Rail Station. However, as buses are not timed to meet any of the train departures, it is unlikely that the stop will see high use. Additionally, the design of the weekend schedule means that those using the service to London will be required to stay overnight, as the return trip departs only 25 minutes after arriving. With service launching this upcoming week on August 4, we hope that this route will help to improve transit along this underserviced corridor. Next up is Tilsonburg, a small community of 16,000, located 45 kilometers east of London. With a grant of 1.45 million, the town has developed a four-route inter-regional bus service, linking the isolated town to many regional centers in the area. The first service will run five round trips per day, Monday through Friday, in a loop-style route, servicing various small communities en route to Woodstock and Ingersoll, the larger regional centers of the area. Here, stops at the Via Rail stations and downtown transit terminals will allow for connections to other local transit routes. Of note, this route provides time connections to Via trains to Toronto and London, as well as a number to call if your train is running late to request the bus to hold, one of the more unique aspects of the system. The remaining three routes will operate two days a week each, running two or three round trips to other outlying communities, as well as into London. The introduction of this service, combined with existing service in neighboring Norfolk County, will provide daily service to many rural communities in the area. Fares for the service are $10 each way, with no transfers provided to local or connecting bus services. With this route also launching this upcoming week on August 4th, these routes will theoretically allow for travel between Toronto and London using only local transit, something that we intend to test once it is safe to do so. Our second last stop is the Township Municipality of Val Rita Hardy, located roughly 350 kilometers north of Sudbury. The township of just over 330 people received a grant just shy of $500,000, which allowed them to begin operating a door-to-door -door shuttle service dubbed Flex. The shuttle will pick up in Opasatica, Hardy, and Val Rita on Monday and Thursday before proceeding into Capas Gasing, the regional center of the area. On Tuesday and Friday, the shuttle will pick up at addresses in Moonbeam and Kittigan on the opposite side of town, before heading back west into Capus Gasing. Between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. daily, the shuttle provides service within Capus Gasing, before returning back to its respective municipality in the afternoon. Seats must be reserved 24 hours in advance. However, the bus will pick up and drop off at addresses, as there is no set bus stops. Fares range from $2.50 for service within campus casing to $5 for service between the towns. While Ontario Northland service also operates in this area, the buses pass through late at night and early in the morning, making them ineffective for those attending medical appointments or getting groceries. Our final stop is in Wellington County, with a population of 90,000. Located roughly 80 kilometers west of Toronto, this mostly rural county used their grant of $500,000 to set up an on-demand ride-sharing service, dubbed RideWell, that connects to destinations within the county as well as the city of Guelph. Running 13 hours a day on weekdays, the pilot uses the local ride-sharing company RideCo to provide shared rides between addresses. Bookings are advised to be placed at least 3 hours in advance and can be tracked through an app. Similar to a taxi, fares are set per kilometre and range from $5 to $40 per trip. Trips are completed using four-door sedans, similar to a taxi, with drivers provided by RideCo. Bookings can be completed online, on the phone, or through the RideWell app. In the coming months, 
Another bus route funded by the Community Transportation Grant will also operate through Wellington County, providing connections to the ride well service. Thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned about some new transit routes operating in Ontario. We'll be covering more of these services as they launch in the coming month, including various services in southwestern Ontario, near Peterborough, and on Manitoulin Island. Feel free to leave a like and a comment if you have any questions or want to see more. And as for us here, we'll be Vanishing Underground until the next one.